Let's see what it says. Hello? Hey, Kendra. Oh, you've been here before. John, you've been on my Instagram show before. I just want to say I appreciate I found love for yourself. Okay, turn the turn the TV off because we can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Okay, so you were on my show and you said, refresh our memory. What was you looking for again? I was looking for love. And I went on a couple of dates and I found one nice lady and it's, it's been going really good. So I just want to come on and tell you thank you for helping me find love on your show. Are you with her right now? No, she's not with me right now. I'm actually at the office working. Okay, but give the backstory because you had, you was looking for a woman that you could spoil. You wanted a housewife. I wanted a housewife, somebody that I could take care of and spoil. VA, 39 Pisces, no kids. Who you looking for tonight, Johnny? I'm looking for a nice young lady who, who's ready to have a um, settle down, have a family, and, and just want to be a housewife. Oh, so you want a woman that wants to be a housewife? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, okay, let's get let's get deeper in it. Because, so you say she don't got to work? I mean, if she want to work, she can work. You have to make a certain amount of money. No, I make enough money. Oh, you make enough money? I make enough money. Woo! Why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Because I'm going to treat her good. I'm going to rub her feet. I'm going to take her out. We're going we're gonna to travel the world. I'm going to love her like I love my mother. You can see on my, you can see, I'm sure they went to my Instagram. You can see for my birthday, I bought my mom a brand new Benz. For my birthday. For, for your birthday, you bought your mother a Benz? Yes. So it was your birthday, but you bought your mother a gift? Yes, for, for her having me and being a good mother. Well, Johnny, I'm going to say this. You know, you, you put it out there. Your money is a big thing. So you're going to attract a woman that is going to be into your money. Are you fine with that? I mean, most women are. Most women want a man that can financially support them and support their needs. But they're always also looking for a man that has a good heart. And they want to have morals and have ambition who wants to, who wants to have something out of life. And must love to travel. And must love to travel. And be able to switch it up, be able to go to high end events. Like today, I was at the event with one of the presidents of the college. So she got me able to dress up, put her red bottoms on, her Chanel bag on, know how to prop, talk proper, how, um, go to fundraisers events. So she got to be able to turn it on and then turn it off. Oh, so she, you want, you want to I am every woman type of woman. Absolutely. She got to be able to go to the, to the club. She got to go to the church. Go to you with the president's meeting. Yeah. She has to be able to trans. She's a transformer. Transformer. Like for my birthday, I had my birthday lunch at the White House. She had to be able to fit in all those categories. And I found my beautiful queen. And she's it's becoming, been on like three dates. And it's, I just want to thank you for the and where, opportunity. And how did she, and she saw your video? She saw my video. And, I, and where did she about, live? She lived in my same town. She lived in the Virginia. same town as you? Yes. So now you're not available anymore. I'm I'm still on them. I mean, we we're dating. We're dating. We just said you found love. I did found love. We we, we we're dating. So we are have, you dating? Have, are you have, dating other people in this process? We keeping it open. We keeping it open. We taking it slow. We said we want to take it slow, become friends. But she's a very good companion, and I just I mean, your show definitely was a good platform to help me find love. But if you found love, why are you entertaining other women? I mean, it's no, it, we ain't walked down the aisle yet. So we ain't, it's no commitment. So this is true, but there's, so you're not exclusively dating because there's steps before a wife. You could be exclusively dating. You could be relationship, then fiance, then wife. So you guys are not exclusively dating yet. Not exclusively, not yet. May, maybe another month or so. I don't want to rush into nothing. Well, you came back. To, to tell the world about her. I mean, I'm, it's going good so far. You, you, you got, you got a, you got a great stock of ladies that come to your show. I mean, and she even had her own. So I think over time we're gonna, we're gonna build together, and it, it might be something. So if we get married, I'm definitely have to invite you to the wedding. Yeah, if you guys get married, you definitely have to invite me to the wedding. So, um, and she fit all your requirements. Say it again. 
She fit all your requirements. She don't meet all my requirements. What's the requirement that you didn't like that she has? Excuse me. What'd you say again? What was a deal breaker she may possess that she has? She wanted to continue to work at her own job, and I didn't like that. But we got past that. You, you met her put her job after three days? No, we got past that. She's going to continue to work for her job, and I wanted her to quit her job because I wanted her to be for me and just, you know, be able to attend to my needs. But, and be okay, there for now me. how are you as working with women where you haven't even made your girlfriend to quit her job? I mean, if you, if you want to be potential and go that doesn't make any well. sense. That's not even a good business deal. If I'm if I'm not even your girlfriend, why would I quit my job? You're not even making me your woman, so I'm gonna quit my job and have no no income. It's steps. It's steps in this process to be able to date. Yeah, there's steps, it's but there's not steps of being a dumbass and quitting your job before we're even in a relationship so you want her to quit her job are you going to pay her bills already like that doesn't make any sense Doc. you got i mean you gotta you make know, sense here i mean you would do the same thing if a man no, I, wouldn't. Just... I would not do the same thing why would any woman quit her job for a man who is not even her man so what you said you to make her my woman well it's more first of all it's only been three days okay so tell me how this you still work conversation went and how it bothers you where it started off, we went to a date, went to Ruth Chris, got something to eat. And the conversation was just amazing. Like, she was very supportive. She was, she liked everything I do. She already actually followed me on social media. Then she said, John, I saw you in the Kendra G show, and I feel like we could really be a match and really go somewhere. So we talk a lot on the phone, talk every night on the phone. And then went on the two other dates, and it's just, it's just the compassion and love is just been there. But where did the conversation about her working come up? Because you said that that was something that she's not willing to do. So when did y'all have that conversation? First day, I asked her she would be willing to quit her job, and she was like, "No." She so quit. let me ask you this: Is this a, uh, is this a something that not right now? You're saying if she becomes her woman? Yeah, not of course not, my lady. Remember, like if I propose to her, get married, she, I don't want her to work. Okay. Now that makes a little bit more okay. I can understand that. So you're not saying while you're dating, quit your job. You're saying you want to just know moving forward if if you do make her your girl, she's willing to quit her job. Yeah, fiance, wife. Okay, okay. Because I want to, I want to be able to, you know, with go on trips and travel and just be a good man to her. So how did you? How, how did y'all get past that? I told her, you know, if if this is what you want to do, if you're passionate about your job. And it makes you happy and it, it gives you peace, do that. I'm gonna understand the type of guy. Understand type of guy. Okay, well, let's do it. Okay, so so now I'm confused because you said that you guys are dating, you found love. Are you trying to meet other women in this process? <sighs> no. No. Oh, oh okay. So you're going to give it, you're going to give it uh, your undivided attention. Yes. Okay. All right, John. And I'm also, shout out to John. He's a promoter in Virginia, Hampton University. I am hosting a party Friday. Oh my God. We're in October. Isn't this like a couple of weeks away? Three weeks away. I need to get my life together. And I got to start. Huh? We sold, we sold a lot of tickets. We almost sold out. We only got three sections left. Okay. Well, that's good news, right? It's amazing news. They're coming to see Kendra G. <laughs> A lot of boys, a lot of boys say, you got, you got a man because they come, they want to come and meet Kendra G. I'm not available. Right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, but let's continue. All right, John. Um, so John, I don't know, lady. See, this is his update. This is the update. I guess if, I guess if date, if lady who's been on three dates doesn't work out, you come back and let me know. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for everything. All right. Bye, baby. All right. Bye. <laughs>